So when we were looking at designing a new machine, I mean, one of the applications that we've struggled in is being able to run kind of wider infeed material. So you can get wider infeed material from running pallets or dimensional lumber into a 6800. Whereas the 5800, the smaller entry level grinder, has a much narrower infeed on it. So it was, it was tougher to get material in there. You ended up having to shear it up a lot more. So behind me, we got our brand new 5900T horizontal grinder. So it's the first generation of the 5900. It's kind of a hybrid mix between what would be a traditional 5800 and a 6800 grinder. So, I mean, one of the biggest things when we went to this new model, you have all the exact same hydraulic components that you would have on the 6800. So you're not going to skimp out on any of your types of your pumps, any of your, your valving, um, the hydraulic schematic. The system is extremely similar to the 6800 and the 5800. So if you have a 6800 in the yard and you've got a 5900 in the yard, if you're having troubleshooting issues between the two, they're going to be almost identical. I mean, the main difference that we have here is we have an additional closed loop pump that runs the offset hydraulic radiator for the engine. It's just a dedicated circuit that we put on there so we can control the speed of the radiator at all times. So if you get to that point where the engine's already running pretty cool, you can just turn that fan off or you can turn the speed of it off so you're not wasting that horsepower that you would typically have drawn from an engine by running a, a belt-driven fan.